guys the progress of our home. So many of you keep asking what is going on if we have all the mold out yet and how far along we are coming with our project. Those of you that have been following us for a while know that we are going over two years now trying to work on mold remediation and uh, we're making progress but definitely not as quick as we would like for it to be. As you can see, all of the plastic dividers are down now. You can see some towels that are out trying to catch some sanding. We still don't have cabinets back in place. This is the back of a cabinet that actually will attach back up to this wall, creating our bar area. And of course, our stove over there is still just set out in the middle of the room. That will go back in the corner eventually. So you can see we still do not have our kitchen because everything is still up under some construction. We just have everything just kind of loosely set in there for now, just so that we can at least eat every day. And we also have the plastic divider off of that hallway. You can see where the flooring has been taking up and just some shelving that we have crammed in the hallway for now until it can find its place back in its home. But as far as the major work on the inside, I think we are just about to the stopping point except now for cosmetics. There is another kitchen counter. Actually, this is our sink cabinet that will go back in the kitchen when we are finished. So we just have it setting out here for now. All of the coats of the drywall mud have been applied and sanded down. And so tonight what my husband is working on is the ceiling texture. We are attempting to do the knockdown texture by hand to save us some money from having to buy the equipment or rent it. So we are trying to attempt to do that by hand and we are actually going to do a whole separate video for you to show you the method that we have been able to come up with just to show you guys for any of you that need to do some ceiling texture and uh, don't have the hopper machine or don't know of anyone that can provide one to you. It does take a little bit of effort and a little bit of elbow grease, but it is doable even without the fancy machinery. Yes. We do believe at this point that all of the mold on the inside has finally been eradicated. Now it is just a matter of putting everything back together. Of course, we will need flooring and painting and window treatments and furniture. We've had to get rid of our furniture as well because of the mold. Those are all cosmetic things that will come in time. But now the major work is going to be up underneath the home. As you can see, our vents are in the floor because we are in a mobile home. So there is some molding issues that is happening under the trailer around the ductwork and the vent areas that still have to be fixed. All of that insulation is gonna to have to come down. And as a matter of fact, half of our home is already without the insulation underneath. So we are operating at half mass right now as far as the insulation is concerned. So there's still a long road ahead of us, still a lot of work to do, but a majority of the mold or just about all of the mold on the inside, we believe we have finally gotten that out of here and our health is improving. And uh, I'll probably do a separate video on that as well. But we just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a quick update to let you know what's going on and to thank you once again for your support and your prayers. And we'll see you next time.